Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Review for today. Wednesday, the 16th of November, 2022. I'm Ken Demar Dumi. Open Heavens is authored by Adadin the Lord Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heavens is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to say thank you for all that you have been to us, for your wondrous works, for never leaving us, for testimonies, for diverse wonders that you do in our lives. We say, Blessed be your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, O Lord, for what you have wrought through your word. Thank you for never leaving us, nor forsaking us. Thank you for bringing your word to us again. Father, we pray that your word will do wonders in our lives, that you will visit us through your word, that you will give us understanding of yourself through your word, that you will draw us closer to you, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are afraid. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today, we are concluding the topic that in the Lord started on Monday, which is touching God. And it is touching God, part 3. We are taking our memory verse from the book of Matthew 15, verse 28. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And, as, and her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Her Bible reading is taken from the book of Mark. Mark 10, verse 46 to 52. Mark 10, verse 46 to 52. Then they came to Jericho as Jesus and his disciples, together with a large crowd, were leaving the city. A blind man, Bartimaeus, which means son of Tamius, was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many rebuked him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, Cheer up on your feet, he is calling you. Throwing his cloak aside, he jumped to his feet and came to Jesus. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked him. The blind man answered, Rabbi, I want to see. Go, said Jesus, your faith has healed you. Immediately, he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. May the Lord bless the reading of his words in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. The message. You can touch God with your prayers. In our Bible reading for today, Bartimaeus cried unto Jesus. He cried until Jesus stood still. Jesus was touched by Bartimaeus persistently calling him. There are gently prayers which people pray softly, sophisticatedly, with big grammar and careful diction. There are also those prayers that can touch God, usually persistent in nature. In Luke 18 verse 1 to 8, Jesus gave an example of a prayer that would definitely touch God. In fact, he said that, that the prayer would touch even a wicked fellow, not to mention God. Some people pray for a while and stop when they haven't gotten their miracle. Why are you stopping? Do you have another option apart from God? I have had the privilege of going to see some presidents. And when you get there, you cannot be in a hurry. You get there before the time of appointment that was given to you. Yet, you may have to wait for some time before you get to see the president. On some occasions, it is the president who wanted to see me. Yet, I had to wait. I had to wait. How can you even go before the president of presidents and say because he hasn't attended to your request yet, you can't, you want to leave. If you leave, who will be affected? God remains God whether you pray or not, but you are nothing without him. When you tarry in the place of prayer, he is touched and then gives you whatever you want. In Matthew 15 verse 22 to 28, we read the story of a woman who kept crying to Jesus to heal her daughter. She cried so much that Jesus' disciples were irritated and asked him to send her away. This did not stop her from praying. At last, Jesus was touched and she got her miracle. How desperate are you to get your miracle? If you are really desperate, it will show in the way you pray. It will show in how long you pray. Many people are still struggling with their problem because they stopped praying too early. Let that not be your story. 
praise to Lord. Hallelujah. The topic once more is touching God part three. You know, um, on Monday, at that end, the Lord made us understand that we can touch God or God can touch us through our faith that when we demonstrate great faith, it pleases God. The word of God says without faith, it is impossible to please God. So God is impressed and he touches us. We also told yesterday that we can touch God through our worship, you know, through our sacrifice of praise. You know, we're encouraged that we should praise God at all in every situation, whether the high, the low, or you know, or the middle. We, regardless of that situation, we should ensure that our lips of bear the fruit of praise. Today, we're made to understand, uh, you know, as we conclude this topic, touching God, that we can touch God through our prayers. We can touch God through our prayers, and it's not just praying. That type of prayer that touched God, you know, it is not about how sophisticated you can speak, you can pray, you know, the grammar, the big, big grammars you use or how soft you speak. No, but then how persistent are you? You know, your, the nature of your persistency, you know, to that prayer will determine whether you can touch God or not. We, we could see also from Bible reading we read today, how Bartimaeus the blind man, cried unto the lord jesus christ even when people were trying to you know shush him tell him to shut up that maybe he was screaming but he had he cried unto jesus until jesus had to put and asked him that what does he want him to do and his you know his cry touched god and you know he got his miracle we're also told of the account of that woman in matthew 15 verse 22 to 28 the story of that woman that kept crying to jesus christ you know, she was not discouraged with whatever Jesus was doing. And at the end of the day, she got, a daughter got a miracle. We could also see also in the book of Luke 18, verse 1 to 8, Jesus Christ told the parable. So, you know, he gave a parable that, that should, you know, to show his disciples that they should always pray and never give up. So we are probably made to understand today that that type of prayer that will continually pray and not give up. Those are the type of prayers that will touch God, that will make us touch God and will touch God and it will touch us and turn our situations around for good. The word of God says we should pray until your joy is full. You know, if you know that concerning that situation, you think you, have, you, you can't give up. You, you can't stop praying too early. You know, like Adadi said, that one of the reasons that many people are struggling with their problems because they stopped praying too early. They gave up on praying too early. But we are encouraged today that the more we intensify in our prayers, the more we move, the more we impress God, the more God is pleased with us, and the more He touches our lives and turns our situations around. I pray that the grace to be persistent in the place of prayer, the Lord will give unto you and I. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Like I already said, said, some people pray for a while and stop when they haven't gotten their miracle. And he's asking that, do you have an option? When it is not that you have another thing that you want to do. Since you don't have an option, why don't you stay there and continually cry unto him? You know, the, the parable that our Lord Jesus Christ gave, he even said, even the wicked man, as wicked as he was, but well, because that woman will not stop and she kept on telling him that she should give him justice. You know, they said, yet because this widow, she keeps bothering me. The justice said, because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me because she keeps bothering him. So he, and, and, and the word of God says, if that wicked man, the unjust justice can do that, how much more our God, our loving God. So, continually pray concerning that thing don't give up on him because he will not give up on you because you don't even have another option if you don't have an option then why be in a hurry why don't you starry and the lord will honor you he will reward that your patience in the mighty name of jesus amen like our daddy also told us our god is the president of all presidents if you want to see an important man that wants to give you something if he says you should come 10 o'clock you would have got in there earlier and he, like he said, he said in most cases, all those persons, all those important people, even the time that they have given you, they will still waste your time because it may be they are attending to all that. Even with that, 
you don't give up. You still go back the next day and you know you might not even meet him. He gives you another point. If you will do that, you know, to mere men, how much more the president of presidents, how much more the creator of those men, why don't you wait and you know and, and allow God? Why don't you tarry, like our daddy said, that we should tarry in the place of prayer? You know, like we are told that he is touched whenever we tarry in the place of prayer. Our daddy, like it is written, he said he is touched and then gives you whatever you want. I pray that the grace to tarry in the place of prayer, the Lord will give unto you and I in Jesus' name. And that he also wrote in conclusion that if you are really desperate, it will show in the way you pray. It will also show in how long you pray. Concerning that thing that you want God to do for you, how are you praying about it? And how long are you praying about it? Continually pray and he will reward you in Jesus' name. Amen. The key point, if you want to touch God with your prayers, then you have to pray persistently. As you give, as you, as you hearken to this word, as you make up your mind to pray persistently concerning that situation, I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will hear you, the Lord will hear me and touch, turn our situations around for good. And we will testify to the glory of his holy name in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for being part of the review for today. God bless you. Amen.